Hi, I'm Alan Elkin with Market News Media. We're here at the 16th Annual Sedona Taste 2011. We have three of several beautiful Arizona Cardinal cheerleaders. We have Emily, Michelle, Hello. and Tessa. Or as I like to call it, the EMT. Hey. So, thank you all again. We'll see you inside. This is Lisa Dahl. Hi. She doesn't need any introduction. And what we're here at the 16th annual Sedona Takes 2011. And of course, Dahl and DeLuca, Gina Ristica, always supporters every year of this event. I want to thank you so much. And thank you. you wrote Am I going to get to say anything the book. here? Go ahead. Alan, no, of course I wrote a book. Yeah. I wrote a book called The Elixir of Life. I can't hold it. I got it. Alan will help me on that. I feel that. like Millie Vanilli. <laughs> And guess what? I won the Independent Publishing Cookbook of the Year Award. Brava! Well, Thank you. There we are. Right here in Little Sedona, and I would, there's no place we'd rather be. My son has been going to the Boys and Girls Club for the last two and a half, three years, and as a single parent, this club supports me to be able to work and feel comfortable and confident that my child is in really good hands during the day when I'm working and have to be somewhere else. I love the programs, I love the quality of the people, of the staff. The children he meets are wonderful and I'm so glad to be able to support. I'm here with the famous chef Ron Mola, the chef to the stars. You've been supported for many years. Yes, I've, uh, I've had the honor of working here at Red's Restaurant in Sedona Rouge Hotel and Spa for the last four years. And this is my fourth year here, and I don't. Uh, I plan to come back every year. This is an amazing group of people. Definitely know food and wine. And what I'm doing here this year is pairing local wine with locally grown product, with some goat meat out of a, a Settler Valley Farms, uh, locally grown beets and arugula, and Alcantara vineyards. And so it's an amazing pairing. And again, I, this is just an amazing event. And now. The food outshines it. You can tell it was homemade. Oh, I want to thank you. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate I look forward it. to seeing you every year. I mean, I'll be here. I'm here. Raz Thanks Restaurant, so Sedona Rouge. Shoe Goose has been part of this for many, many times. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Why don't you give us a little about no, your restaurant? This is our restaurant. It's right up here on the hill. Shoe Goose Hillside Grill. That's right there on the hill. This is my wife, Shelly. We've taken over the business now. I've been the chef there for 26 years. And we're going to carry on the tradition and just make it as good and better as it has always has been. And, and today, uh, for this fundraiser, we have uh, ginger, uh, ginger chicken walnut um, salad. And then we also have a bread pudding with a bourbon sauce that we just keep winning awards on. It's pretty wonderful. And we have the most spectacular view in town. Thank I want to thank you. Thank you very much, Ellen. Thank you. Thank you. And as you can see how humble we are, he's a Yankee fan, but it's not about the fans. <laughs> it's about the loyalty to the community. We'll see you next year. Bye. Thank you, folks. Bye. I'm here with Chef Nate. Isn't that okay? Chef Nate is what they call me. Dab it up. See, that's not the knuckle. And you're located at the Cliff House of the Sea. That's correct. And I heard even your main dish was jackpot. Exactly. We, we, we served everything up in a pie shell tonight, but we ran out of those in a little tartar shell. So now we're serving our, our stuffed beef tenderloin rod on a plate with our Asian coleslaw. It's still very popular. You know what I gotta do next, don't you? Yeah. And you guys always stick to every event, every year with the Boys and Girls Club, don't you? Yes, we do. We're very supportive of the Boys and Girls Club. Um, I've been here since 2003, and we love coming to this event. We wouldn't miss it. Chef Nate Dog. Hi, I'm Alan Elfman. We're here at 2011 Sedona Taste. Beside me is Becky Parks from Taco Del Mar. Not only a local business that's been around here for many years in Sedona, 
but a very generous donor of every event. The community really hits home. Husband John Park's involved with the school system, so it's very community oriented. Not only is it food exceptional, but their sense of generosity and community line. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Come see us at Taco de Mar on the corner of 89A and Mountain Chest. We'll see you next year. Next to me, we have Chef Daryl Richardson at the restaurant Grill at Shadow Rock. Generous donations to the Boys and Girls Club, Sedona Taste 2011, Film Festival, many others. Very generous. Well, what we got is three different kinds of ceviche. This is a scallop ceviche with roasted tomatillos. I'm going to drink it because I roll like that. Drink it? Drink it. No, he did it. We be at. Thanks, sir. Thank you. We'll see you next year. My mouth's too full to talk about anything else. Where are you guys located, even though I said it? Uh, 90 Ridge Trail Drive, the village of Oak Creek. Bye. Cowboy Flop, Barking Frog, Silver Sound. All kinds of restaurants wrapped up in one booth for the Sedona Taste 2011. And to my right is Chef Chris. As always, I see you at most events now. Every single event. Every single one. Every event. Every one. Why? Because when there's an event, he's the chef. Every single thing. Tom Gillum and myself do like to definitely involve ourselves in everything. And I think it's very, very important, especially for such a small community, that we can contribute back to it. And one of the things that I like to do, even though I'm Jewish, <laughs> his food is that good, I'm actually going to taste it because look, look, it, it just fell off the bone and I didn't even make that up. Yeah. Thank, you so much, Chef Chris. Thank, Thank you. you very much, I appreciate it. Thank you for your Thank support. You. Absolutely. We'll see you next year. Absolutely. Bye. 2012.